Hi hey guys, I've downloaded StormOS. I've seen it somewhere, I don't remember, and I've actually forgot that I installed it. Uh, I, I downloaded it. So, yeah, let's install for the very first time StormOS, and it's gonna be XFC I've seen, and for the rest, no idea, right? That it's based on Arch, that's something. Let's see what it is, and maybe even, yeah, go and change it because it's all Arch. Right, remember that it's all Arch Linux. Any distro out there that's based on Arch Linux can be changed into Arch Linux. And we press just enter, live user, and we're in. We get Calamars, and this is something I do not like. Right, I want you to actually learn English because you have so much more well, search terms that you can, technical terms that you need to learn. So having it's set in your own language is not a good idea. American English is better. And then you learn all the technical words that you can Google DuckDuckGo or Quant and stuff like that. Search for. So this is your default choices for partitioning and all that. And then we go for this and that. Log in automatically or maybe have a look at Lightium, I think it was. Let's see. There are all the things that we can check. So if you click on here, it's closed. Flame shots and uh, flame shot kit is a little bit further down the road. And uh, all kinds of kernels. Desktop customizing, but it's already pretty much customized. This is not the default XFC, right? Arc Black Ice, Colloid. Colloid Compact, Dracula, we can play around with those settings later. Anyway, this looks better to, to click here. That's indeed true. Anyway, um, I'm gonna keep everything as it is. I think I'll get what I get, right? What you see is what you get. That is the WYSIWYG idea. And let's see if that's true. So we'll swap and all that. Fine, go ahead, my friend, go, go, go. And now we have a look around. So, that's as small as we can put it. We're gonna put you here. This is the icon for that. This is the Optimus switcher, Storm OS Optimus switcher. Optimus, Google it, AOR Optimus, and, or maybe Archlinux Optimus. And then you get information that is for NVIDIA. So we're looking at this. Let's open up some folders. Appearance. Icons. Oh, let's go at it from the top. The very top is this one. Advaita. Breeze. Breeze Dark Elementary. High Contrast. Surf and Arch. Surf and Arch Blue. Arch Surf and... Voila. The Mystic. Just skipping a few. We know Surf and... And that's it. All right, so Surf and Tulla is my choice of the day. And then Style, Dwight that Dark. The Colloid is not that bad. This is, of course, the Dracula, the little purple kind of look, and the North scheme. So those are color schemes. Compact, Compact Dracula. Green, so, and so on. Just going over a few of them. So if you think that's cool, type in yay colloid, paru colloid, and see if you can get it, find it somewhere online. Lots of colloids, <laughs> definitely. Ctrl T is working. One arch, yay colloid. Let's see if we can find it. There is a cursor git, there's the icon theme, there's the GTK theme and the plasma themes. So those are the guys you wanna have. And for the rest, maybe some wallpapers, I guess. Yep. Voila. <laughs> so we have a better look, right? Uh oh. Danger, danger. Nice. Yep, no, that one. 
Oh. Oh, cool wallpapers. Ooh, very cool indeed. Spooky. Which was a cool one. I don't know. Anyway, voila. Desktop. Let's have a look. How are you doing? Ah, restart now already. Cool. So, click and click. And we're on StormOS. And let's, let's prove my point again to you guys. When I say that it's all Arch Linux, I really, really mean it. That anything Arch Linux based can be changed the way you like it. There is some error up there. Maybe should should take a look at that. I'm not gonna. But um, the Canavar tool is a great tool, right? And also, wow, right? Nice when we log in. Beautiful login. And yes, we're gonna change the wallpaper. Ouch! I can't log in. Did I make a typo? Oh, yeah, oof. And the VBox thing running a terminal session. Yeah, maybe something there. Let's first update. So, of course, we type update. This says, huh? What are you talking about? So, secret pacman minus SYYU. And we have the extra. Oh, look at that. Zero Linux NVIDIA repo. Is being used as well and here are all the qt5 changes that we need to do all right so no point in looking around because we need to first update and then reboot there are things in here that makes it necessary right and maybe the system d is here yep that's there as well so it makes it necessary to reboot and have a look and certainly all the case stuff needs to be updated then another arch Linux key ring is there I don't think it went quickly, but I don't think Pac-Man has been configured the way I like. And that's where it starts, right? When you think it's not this is uh, this, this setting and that setting and, and so on, that's where you start making it your own. Now, Vim is not my thing. I'll be worried with nothing. Mousepad is not my thing. And there we go. Choices. Control T. Pseudo. Ouch. What's this? Pseudo Pacman minus S. Let's see if I can just pseudo Pacman it. Nope. Then we're gonna yay it. Yay sublime text four. Alright. But I have to watch out. This one is still working. TKMS is there for Broadcom WL and a virtual box. Let's see if we can run it together. Because there can be only one Pac-Man. He's finished, fine, cool, just in time. Hopla. So, thank you very much. No, not mousepad, don't you get it? Right mouse click with Sublime Text, of course. Why Sublime Text? Because it does this. Where are you? Control find parallel. There is no parallel. Okay, cool. So in the N Pacman on Atlix, we type N Pacman. And just above, I love candy. Here we put something extra. We put in parallel. Capital downloads D space and 20, right? And then save, and that's what I like about Sublime Text. Boom, it's in there. So next time it will be much faster to download because I will have parallel downloads. So it, this line was not in there, and that's the small things you're gonna have a look at. And same thing with make init cpio.conf if that exists if i typed it correctly make init oops let's scroll to it make init cpo.conf this one still the wrong guy 
So right mouse click, open with, set default application, sublime text, use as default, open. Nah. So if you want to add more modules to it, find binaries, files and so on, do that. We're on ZSTD and our line is here, base, KMS, block, keyboard, console, font, Plymouth is here, resume, file system, file check, okay. We have to reboot, right? So reboot. So normally, since Plymouth was there, I would expect something graphical, but it might be me, but I don't see it. There is something wrong with the login. I did not make a typo this time, I think. That's strange. Let's not make a typo. Yeah, twice for some reason. The download manager, oh yeah, the software. What kind of software? Well, first of all, the wallpaper. There was some nice wallpaper, so anything else? Cool. And then accessories, bulk rename, disks is here. The Mate archive manager is here. Clipper is here, Quantum Manager is here, Plank is here, Plank is always nice. Little Plank, right, um, the left control, the shift, the right mouse click, and then you get in the preferences. I know, I know, I know, it's, it's a bit much transparent to the top. There you go. And what else? Our system tool. Oh my god, right? Step one, system update, IOR update, step install, team view, install SH. All kinds of things. I don't know what it is. This one, uh huh. Install free drivers, reboot, propriety drivers. So probably going to do something. Okay, no, thank you, thank you, thank you. Nope. Warning, hardware memory is a reader, works on uh, block reserved, reserved, reserved. System info, lshwm, command not found. Gonna try my password again. So the pa the application is not installed, so we can't see that. Okay, so there's an app. There is an app for that. Minstick is great, right? It is so reliable. Six years of building or for burning thousands of ISOs. So reliable indeed. Sublime text thanks to me. Graphics Gimp is here. Internet, two of them. And Thunderbird for the mail. VLC, my choice. Office, better not choose it because people have their own ideas. That's my reasoning and you choose whatever you like. Uh, some stuff here, Storm OS, Bookmarks Manager, Browser Calendar, Expenses Calendar, Image Viewer, Music Player, Choices, Choices, Take a Look, Signs, Settings, Settings, Appearance, Desktop, First Play, Finish, Okay, and then System. All right, which leaves me since there is already the surfing icons, I'm gonna go for ATT, right? This is Arch. Yes, it says so, right? It's Arch. Arch kernel, Arch logo, it's Arch. So that means that if I want to install Arch Linux Tweet Tool, I just press number one, enter, 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 nope, the password. And then enter. Then I launch it. Often I do it like this because then I see what's going on. 
but it's here of course auction links tweak tool nice thing so that's the point of the visit here of course these are all arch linux based distros basically i think we're at number 15 i should count it again but storm os can be added to the list right if it works and even if it partially works right we can do stuff like this i want to install the selected icon themes we need to activate the Arconx repos all right because it's not available so we got here all these choices if you want to enable the Arconx repos you need to do something you need to install the keys in the mirrors if you want to use endeavor repo you need to do this and this and this and this right so yeah sure i want to have those packages because i want to have ch dwm on storm os or i want to have i3 on storm os or i want to have well, whatever 30 of desktops that we have on for instance, DK, the latest, the newest that's still in the pipeline. I'm gonna have that. But let's see if this works. Let's see to Pacman. We have here Articlex repos, they're all activated. The testing, well, I should look, take a look at that. Why is the testing activated? That's not a good thing. So, to do right on the list to do. When I update my system, which will not work like that, and it will not work like update either cool then it's gonna be this and you'll see there are a few lines more so now it knows that there are also packages from these repos and we can update the tweak tool we can update the chaotic key rings more so we're gonna update all these things those are all keys and where do we find stuff that's the mirror and the key ring is the keys Pacman is gonna sign, well sign is gonna make a database and then it knows that's the things I can trust. Okay. So we got a new Arch Links tweak tool, better run it again from here. This is the one from the repo of Arch Links. And then we can install surfing teams, which is already there and extra and so on. Out of start, this is all out of started. If you say, I don't wanna have this or don't wanna have that, just click and it's gone. Calamars guy shouldn't be here, right? This should be deleted afterwards. Cleanup of Calamars and some stuff, third party stuff. You know, I like my Bibata cursor, for instance, the Bibata cursor theme is this one. And then you see what's going on with your machine, which is always interesting. And that's here. No, that's what we type basically. And there you go. There you go. There you go. Oh no. Wait a moment. Where were the key bindings? The keys is in the mouse. It's in the theme. Is this one. And this should work, right? Or it should work. Maybe we need to log out, log in again. Ah, there he is. So this, ah. It's applied, it takes a bit, <laughs> it takes a while. So I wanna have my CHADWM. This is one of the selling points of the ArchLink Suite tool. We have configurations of so many tools, so many desktops better, and a lot of them are tiling window managers, and I know it's not easy, right? It's a learning curve, but it's so awesome to be able to work with these things. Let's see if there are conflicts because it, it all depends on what machine are you, what package do you have, because we're still relying on, yeah, Pac-Man, right? And if Pac-Man says, hey, there's a conflict, the story ends, and you have to use your brain and say, why is it not possible? Now, I need to change my, ow, ah, here he is. I need to change my desktop, right? And it's at the top here. Okay, uh, so that's not another go. We get this. Ah, it's always twice, right? Login. All right, that's it. That's all it is. All right, do I have Alex Appearance? I have Alex Appearance. Can I change it to an icon theme? That's a bit nicer than Advaita. Surf and Dracul, apply. Okay, not working. 
is it possible to do this and then go here go there arch blue surfing dracul okay and then open this okay so that's cool i have my icons pseudo whoops pseudo pacman minus s arc gtk theme well we have we have so many themes we have 53 themes all based on arc so why stick to the default arc right why not the ones that you like that are dark or the ones that you like that are blue so if you make a little bit bigger none the blue ones install all the arc themes that are blue softer blue tori blue nice blue arc blue arch blue havelock azul botticelli carolina blue right all these packages are being installed which means I need to delete this. I'm gonna wait for it. That's it. I'm gonna stop this, stop that. And then we go to Ctrl Alt M, appearance. And we got all these choices now. It's just not applying them, I see. <laughs> all right. So let's just go to Azul Darker, Surf and Dracul. A little darker close and then Alex appearance as well LX appearance it was a Zul I think eh? a little dark a little dark and then click this one a little dark surf and dracul yep apply close better right so there you go I've set everything up the way I'd like and voila better so button up here All right, button there and then you launch things that are of course installed let's see if this works actually yeah this works and storm was so voila. this is discord this is telegram this is minstick so minstick was installed the others I need to install and this is powerful control done so I'm the point is the video is say hey there's a new kit on the block right slow voice and the point is it's arch do with it what you like all right do with it what you like what I do on a system like this is the work that I've done already in the past reuse why don't you create an account on GitLab or GitHub and go make a copy from this particular GitHub. All right. Learn how to make scripts. Learn the code. Here's the code, you have all my code for the last six years. I have changed and changed and changed these scripts. And all I do on any other thing, even on Arcalinks, right? On anything, I run this. And those are my current choices. Do you want to install chaddlm? No, because it's already there, right? And then off it goes, making all kinds of changes to the system and removing stuff that might be there, right? So this is a good thing don't want that don't want that don't want that. they're not there so I won't have an issue with it and here we have the VMware of course we're in VirtualBox so leave it it says I can't remove it I don't want Korean and Japanese and Chinese fonts so but it, they're necessary for Calamaris right so hence they're on there but later on we want to get rid of it but it, then it continues nice icon themes this is the one I like um, let's have a look so Alex appearance it's already installed I can theme this is one that I like right apply and then we can have a look this is one I like in chaddlm this is my look this is my colorful file manager and that's based on this theme and then it can be installed on anything right not just arch but anything it's not this thing Eric 
well you've seen it candy beauty thing there right so it's going to go over all things sometimes it's conflicts because it's already there it's owned by something else and then you figure it out you change your scripts again and again and again over six years time well more over 10 years time right you just well adapt changes will happen packages will die new packages will arise and you just change okay so this is what basically is going to say let's see if we have sublime text yeah there it is right this is basically going to say run well first of all remove stuff that i don't want and then install this install that install this install that and then it's a more personal kind of approach this file i'd like to have to change the settings of alacrity i'd like to change the bookmarks i'd like to change kava i'd like to change the course air keyboard next the coloring things you know these keyboards that keep changing color can design it near fetch i don't know and it's anything you want to copy paste over basically and if I'm on ALCI, I do this. If I'm on Archman, I do that. And I could make a new one. If I am on StormOS, you do this and this and that. And how do you analyze it? That's the fun bit, I think, for me. Anyway, is this right? Follow this. What's going on? So, yay or yay bin, I don't mind. Either is good, right? As long as we have yay. There's also you get some choices. But if there are conflicts, really important conflicts, then I say this wins. Remove this before the other package gets installed, and there is no configuration. I should do something about the console I want. You can find it on the Arcanlix YouTube channel. How we fix that. And there we go. So if you want to see what we have now, then we'll have to reboot. And that's the fun, right? You get something clean and a new distro. I've never seen this before. First time I install this, right? And then you make it your own. That's what I've done before Arch. There was something about Plymouth, guys. Have a look. So let's click in and again, click again. So something with the login needs fixing, but okay, right? It's, it's a process. It needs fixing. So I do have another look again, so I don't know what's going on there. But Alex Appearance, we'd like Arc Dark is good. But then this one, apply, close. I do the same in this one, just to be sure. Appearance, Arc. Hey, didn't I have Arc Dark in the other one? I do. Why is because I didn't scroll because I didn't scroll okay and icons all the way up candy beauty close close and there we go let's log out I want to know once ouch well I guess we have a problem there. So right control and on R, rebooting. Maybe it was me. But I do think we can add Storm West to the list of distros we support. But there are other things we should take a look at as well. Not just Installing a desktop. There is other stuff. Yeah, of course, um, I've installed a lot of apps, right? These are all the apps I've got now because of the uh, running the Arcanix Nemesis. There's a lot of stuff in there. Vivaldi is there, for instance, right? So. This is just pseudo pacman minus s that's not going to be an issue desktop we've done that fixes get probe link probe for hardware that's working install keyring local done 
keyring online. So it's always an issue, key rings and keys and key rings. That's why we added to the possibility to just click it. <laughs> always good. And there's the fixed key thing to really make sure everything is gone again and everything is reinstalled again, everything is reset. Clean slate approach. Get rid of anything with a problem. And start from scratch. I wonder what mirrors I have. So nano etc pattern.d mirror list. I've already mined. So this is because I run Arclinks Nemesis. I told him in this file I want these servers, right? These are for me in Belgium the fastest servers. Servers. So that's how we do it. Hold on. Alright, so this is caps lock, okay, minus s. Nothing to do. Alright. In the meantime, he's done. And it goes on and on and on. Uh, parallel downloads, it's now 20. And I can reset it to something else. Okay. And grub is not there. Oh yeah, grub is there, but we did not find the Arcanist grub theme Vimix. So it's a specific theme that we have. And if you like it on Arch Lakes or on Storm OS or Endeavor OS, sorry, you can do so. SDM is not used, so it's all LightDM that we're gonna use. It's okay. Mirrors, if you want, NeoFetch. So at this point in time, NeoFetch. And if you say, I'm going to go for Antergos, apply your NeoFetch configuration, Control T, you have Antergos, right? <laughs> Maybe some of you don't remember it, but it's, um, well, it's gone now, but it's an, um, this was a distribution, which was actually quite good and had its own installer. And we're not Linux. No, we're not. We're in StormOS, right? It's simple. Click here, drop down and whatever. Have fun. <laughs> Select things you don't want to see, select things you do want to see, all normal, small, none, right? And apply. Pacman, enable stuff you don't want, Dev OS, if you want to have a look what it's in there, what the Xero Linux, there was an NVIDIA repo already there, so that's okay. For privacy, you block origin, install HBlock, great tools to make sure you don't have rubbish. When you serve the internet, there you, you get protection basically. So Pipewire inactive means it's all Pulse Audio, you can switch if you want. Bluetooth, install Bluetooth, already installed. Blueberry was not installed, it was a choice. So, yep, cool. Network, if we want to use network printing. So Samba, uh, sorry, 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 <laughs> Samba is there. So printing is here and Samba is there. Ah, there he is. Shells, I do like my own shells, like update. So install bash completion, already installed, that's cool. So install the ATT, Arch Linux tweak tool, bash RC. But before we do that, we better take a look at what's in there now, right? Control H, bash RC, and that's this. So there's an OSH theme, Agnostar, and all things not used. And then this install is sudo pacman minus s, uninstalls r and s, pacman syu. So p update, we can remember this p update or yay update. And then um, mouse pads restart smb and mb, reflector things. All right, so there are indeed things and they're already here, right? So the backup is already created. Every important file has a backup. Once you run ATT, we we'll make sure you have everything there and nothing is lost. Here you see also ATT, config ATT, it's all here. The old config files to the .config folder, that's this one, right? 
nothing is lost whatever we use there is always a backup always somewhere you only have to know but you'll find it is right next to it so that will be okay so i say no thank you very much i'd like to have a new bezier c what changed the content of this thing right reload it reload so now we have the arch links tweak tool and if we go for Control t we have neofetch we have update we have up all and our Bezier or C or personalized Bezier or C is there and that's something well some of some of the bits yeah, you, you might think hey that's interesting maybe I'll have that as well and put it in your Bezier or C and use the Arclinks Nemesis scripts to just copy paste right over it over the current Bezier or C on any Linux distribution just say no I'm gonna use mine right that's basically it and then we go here kernels uh, gritty the themes you can install and all that xfc4 terminal fun now we have neofetch let's see if we can have lolcat now we have lolcat and so on right themer this up will become clickable once you've installed the desktop right if you don't have qtile don't have left wmi3 or awesome there's no point and here we're going to use and uh, well install user not many people i guess are using this because well frankly we're all have single computers right one laptop for me two des desktops whatever <laughs> but just one person often on a system but if you want to share a computer with somebody else it often is difficult to create users on for instance dwm for instance i3 bspwm xmonad and so on right plasma is the one that has the ability to actually create a user in the system settings but many don't have the option so we have it here right install and remove anything else well yeah we can go to zsh or fish and the extras that's always interesting so these tools are quite interesting they also rely well the the bezier c relies often on apps being there like paru downgrade rate mirrors so yeah not bad idea but as you see everything is installed why i ran arclinks nemesis script anything i want is already installed this is an arch links distro all right so there you go we can add att having another distro we can support i will see how it evolves in the future i'm pretty sure well this, the, the way is up right it's always better over time things always get better and it's a hobby you know i mean it's ad hoc that we all work linux is fun it's creative it's freedom so enjoy storm OS. Enjoy Marshall Sweet Tool, the themes, the desktop, whatever you wanna what what your heart desires, right? Go for it. Because it's all there. It's out free. You can install it and have fun with it. Alright. Cheers. That was my Storm West. Visit.